It's been six months since a three alarm fire at Patton Towers in downtown Chattanooga left 200 people homeless. Dozens of residents have not yet been allowed to return. Tonight we hear from the building ownership group and from city leaders who say they're limited in how they can help. Joy Dukes joins us live from downtown with this story. Joy. Yeah, Greg, we're told 58 people are still being housed temporarily in hotels scattered across the area and awaiting the opportunity to return to their apartments. Well, a spokesperson for Elmington Capital Group, the firm that manages the building, tells us they don't know when that will be. And city leaders say there's not much more they can do here either. Six months after a fire on the seventh floor of the Patton Towers apartment building in downtown Chattanooga. It was a tragedy first uh, to see the people lined up outside not knowing where their things were. The effort to welcome its residents back home has hit a snag, which came as a bit of a shock to city leaders, including Councilman Anthony Byrd, who represents this district. And it was my first time hearing that there's still people out there that are not back at home. In May, 82 residents who lived between floors 8 and 11 were moved back in after the fire in March. All tenants resumed paying rent June 1st, but a spokesperson for Elmington Capital Group confirmed nearly 60 of the 200 residents originally displaced still haven't seen the inside of their apartments. And they are uncomfortable because this is not their home. You know, these people are still in hotels. Some of the people uh, decided to take vouchers and not move back to the Patton Towers. A statement from Elmington Capital Group in response to questions about the timeline for construction reads in part, the damage from the fire was extensive and construction crews continue to work hard to make the repairs necessary for residents to return. Bird says because the building is privately owned, the city can't use taxpayer dollars toward construction or repairs. They can connect residents facing the daily struggles of getting access to food, clothing and transportation with community groups like the Enterprise Center, but even its resources are now running low. Oh, they are having to find grants and do other things to get people back and forth to work, get people back and forth to the hospital, and they're running out of money and they're needing more funding and more time. He's asking community members to help by donating to the Enterprise Center. For residents in need, Bird said they can contact him directly. And we reached out to a spokesperson for Patton Towers to find out more specifics on the damage that's causing those delays. We have not heard back yet. Uh, a spokesperson for Mayor Tim Kelly said that the city is willing to expedite any permitting or regulatory permissions that are needed to help in completing the repairs. Now, for a link to donate to the Enterprise Center, you can click on the story inside the WRCB app. We're live in downtown Chattanooga tonight. Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Joy